What's up guys, TK here. It's five in the morning and me and Miguel are about to hit up LA and we're gonna be doing some legs. So follow me and let's get it. It's showtime. What's good YouTube, TK here. Today we're gonna be hitting up a leg routine. And if you enjoyed that little cinematic scene right there, uh, hit that like button, maybe comment, maybe subscribe. But without further ado, let's get into this leg routine. So originally I was going to comment, commentate while I was working out, but unfortunately it was way too loud in the gym. And when I was talking, it was just a lot of background noise. Um, because even at 5 in the morning, surprisingly, there's a lot of people there. So it was just better to go home, look at the video, and then do a voiceover from home. So we're starting off this workout with leg extensions. And for the first set, I like to do single leg just to warm up my muscles and get a little bit of blood flow in there. And then for the rest of the sets, uh, we're going to be doing both legs together. And it's really important to focus on that contraction at the top of the leg extension and maybe even hold it there for a second to get the most benefit out of this exercise and eventually develop those cuts and those the size that you want in your quads. So this exercise is gonna be four sets of about 12 to 15 reps. And with each set, uh, try and increase the weight a little bit more just to try and improve the strength of the quad. And for the last set, just like we did in the first set, I'm gonna do single leg instead of double leg just to burn out the, each leg and after you do each leg for the last set I'll do an even more burnout and put both legs uh, kind of do like a super set I guess of single leg and then go right into a uh, burnout of double leg and this exercise really warms up my legs pretty good and gets that blood flow in to then do the rest of the exercises for legs whether that be squat or leg press and everything else Now moving on to the next exercise, we're going to be doing the hack squat facing forward towards the mat. And I really love this exercise because it's similar to the barbell squat, but it's a lot, I personally, it's a lot more comfortable and there's a lot less stress on your back. But I also love doing barbell squat and I usually um, exchange these two exercises every week. So I'll do barbell squat one week and then I'll do this, which is the hack squat another week so I'll start this exercise with a warm-up and do about around one plate and then I'll do four sets of six to ten reps increasing the weight each time today I worked up to three plates and then what I did for the last set was I stripped the weight and then just repped it out for 15 So there's different ways to do this exercise and I was doing it the traditional way but Miguel as you can see here is doing the staggered stance and what that's going to do is it's going to focus more on one quad over the other and it'll focus on the front one more than the back one. So now we got the leg press and there's a couple of different feet position you can do. The first one being the traditional. And the next one, you can do wide stance, which that'll work more your inner thighs. Um, you can also do close feet, and that'll work more of your quads and your outer thigh muscles. Uh, and you also have toes pointed outwards. That's gonna work more your adductors, which are the muscles inside your, in front of your hip, that'll pull your legs together. Um, and the last, ex the last feet that you can do, feet position you can do, is toes at the top of the at the platform and that's going to work your hamstrings and your glutes so here i'm going to be doing close grip i'm not close grip but close feet because i want to make this more of a quad dominant exercise but you know 
So I'm going to be doing four sets of around 12 to 15 and I'm focusing on flexing my quads all the way down and back up and that will give you the best contraction you can for the leg press. Now there's one thing I want to point out and that is when you first get on the leg press you want to make sure that you lock yourself in and don't, as you see here, don't pull your hips up off the mat when you when you do the leg press because that'll round your spine and you don't want that. So make sure you're, you're locked into your seat and then you do the leg press. So next we go straight into some walking lunges and for this it's going to be four sets of 10 on each leg. So I, I just go to where there's nobody, and, nobody down the lane and I just walk through my lunges there and back. And how I do my walking lunges is I kind of do a running motion where I pick up my leg in the back and curl my hamstring and then bring it through back to the front. And this will just this just gives me a full like running motion and I feel like I can press off the back leg more and get a more powerful lunge. So that completes the exercises for the quad and now we're going to move into the hamstring. So I'm going to start off with a wide stance for this exercise and it's going to be 4 sets of 12 to 15 again. And right now my hamstrings are pretty weak just because I haven't focused on them a lot in the past but now I'm starting to focus on them more and they're kind of improving in strength and size. So when you start off this exercise, you want to make sure that your feet are pointed down, not back. You want them pointed down to, and that'll start to engage your hamstrings. And then the next step is when you curl your hamstring, make sure that you squeeze at the top and try and feel that full contraction of the hamstring. Because a lot of people don't really know what that hamstring contraction feels like. And that just takes some time and some practice of different positions and everything just to really feel that exact hamstring full contraction and that'll really help develop your hamstrings. So next we have another round of hamstring curls for four sets of 12 to 15 and that's why I like to keep it a little bit lighter on the weight because we're doing a lot of reps for hamstring. And this time I have my feet close instead of wide because I like hitting different angles and movements uh, for hitting the hamstring. Also, make sure you have your feet pointed down again and that when you curl, make sure that you squeeze at the top to feel that contraction. So now we're on to the last hamstring exercise and this one is the seated hamstring curl. So we're going to be doing 4 sets of 12 to 15 again and when I get onto the machine I like to put the back pad at almost as close as it can to the front and that's just so I can try and get on top of my hamstrings and really get the most squeeze I can out of them. And for this one I go really light in weight and I I try and go as slow as I can down and back up. Now lastly, we are going to be hitting some calves on this seated calf raise for 4 sets of 12 to 15. And I want to emphasize here that you don't want to pull up on the weight like that. 
because you're gonna be using momentum and your arms that way instead of solely using your calves. So what I like to do is I kind of lean forward a little bit and just think about squeezing my calves up and not using that momentum to lift it. And for the next set, I'm gonna have my toes out wide just to hit different angles of the calf um, and keep things interesting. And you wanna make sure that when you do the raise, you're not pumping out as many reps as you can. I'm, what I like to do is I go down slow and feel the stretch at the bottom and then press back up and squeeze the calf. Finally, for this last set of calves, I'm gonna have my toes pointed inwards just to hit one more different angle of the calf. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and I hope this helps you never to skip leg day again. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.